Park and they've had a double whammy in lockdown because they've obviously lost their income from people coming in but they've still had to pay for animals to look after and in the latest series of Behind Closed Doors we are seeing that they have managed somehow in lockdown to have a new ride set up. Let's take a look. No working rides, no screaming kids and no unhealthy food anywhere but this unwanted gift of time has not been wasted. They've been working with their old rides, their new rides and their beautiful animals. Now in here, the world's largest rodent. They'd give a rat a run for its money, wouldn't they? And today they've been having a little lockdown dental work. They've also been getting a little extra TLC with the visitors away. What happens when you scratch these guys? So these guys, they really, really get into the loving. They all, all of their fur comes up, they get really, really into it. Sometimes if they're really into it, they can actually fall over because they're so relaxed. <laughs> it also seems quite relaxed by the pirate ship they've been improving. But you can hear no screaming children <laughs> and birds. Yeah, yeah. like the birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missing the screaming kids? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> It's been rather more hectic on the other side of the park where the construction team gave us a sneaky peek of their new ride. You must have all um, saved a fortune, have you? Because none of the cafes are open. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Our team haven't been spending as much on tea and coffee breaks, so in some ways they've been a little bit more efficient. <laughs> a small mercy given how tricky it's been. It's been very challenging because of a lockdown, you know, we've had to make sure we do things differently with social distancing within construction. Lockdown has cost the park thousands of pounds and many seasonal jobs. Then there's the hotels to keep ticking over. This is a redecorated Gruffalo room. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. <laughs> what an entrance! And they have to keep the water free of bacteria. Oh, there's a lot of water running in here. What's going on? Each and every one of our 219 hotel bedrooms, we have to make sure that all of the water is flushed through on a daily basis. So it's my job to come in and run the sink, the toilets and the shower. Wow, who knew? Lucky me. <laughs> Back at the park, they've also been sprucing up their cave and offered me the chance to join in. I've got UV paint on here. Here we go, one take. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Oh. Oh, Sally. Another forgettable lockdown moment, unlike the rest of this place, which they've made the most of behind closed doors. Sally Williams, ITV News, Chessington.